Now, why do some people get sick while others live to a healthy old age? That's what the world's biggest body scanning project is trying to work out. It's part of UK Biobank, which is examining how our health is affected by lifestyle, environment and genes. 100,000 volunteers will undergo detailed scans. The volunteers have been chosen from half a million adults who've already supplied their DNA. Among the diseases being studied are cancer, heart disease and dementia. Our medical correspondent Fergus Walsh was the first person to be scanned and he joins us from inside a freezer at UK Biobank headquarters in Stockport. Fergus. Well Sophie, this freezer contains my DNA and that of all 500,000 volunteers, perfectly preserved in trays at minus 80 degrees. Now in addition to this huge genetic database, scientists have detailed lifestyle information on volunteers and soon they will have thousands of medical scans as well. Okay, just keep nice and still again. Heart, brain, bones, even fat content. Every part of the body will be imaged for this ambitious project. Breathe all the way out. I'm the first of 100,000 people who will be invited to undergo the tests. The MRI scans will yield a huge amount of data. The goal is clear. We will understand better the causes of a wide range of different diseases. The brain scans may well help us to understand the causes of dementia and other types of cognitive decline. Uh, looking at the heart may give us uh, an idea about uh, why it is certain people uh, develop heart disease in the long term, heart failure. Biobank scientists have begun analysing the DNA from volunteers. This will be cross-referenced with the scans and with information about diet, fitness, health records and cognitive tests. The results? Huge, powerful data which should give insights into many diseases. Anne Johnson hopes the research will help explain why she got Alzheimer's disease at just 52. It affects her short-term memory and she can get lost when out shopping. My father had this before me and his lifestyle, like mine, was nothing wrong with it. So I can't identify what caused it for him or for me. Um, so we need to identify if there's any common denominators there which give us a clue as to what may be the cause of this. The scanning project is not a health check. Volunteers won't see their scans. But if a potentially serious problem like a tumour is spotted, that will be fed back. You can see here the fluid-filled spaces in the centre of the brain. It could mean early diagnosis, but also cause alarm. Some tumours are not amenable to treatment, and so somebody has to live with the knowledge that they have something that that nothing can be done about. And that can just create worry and an impact, a negative impact on travel and life insurance. UK Biobank is an example of altruism. Volunteers know it's not their health, but that of future generations that will benefit from this groundbreaking project. Fergus Walsh, BBC News.